Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Hopefully, everybody's having a good day, night, morning, evening, whatever is wherever you're at. Um, anyway, I wanted to take and make this video because I've been hearing it so much all over the place, especially in Facebook groups. I'm just like literally tired of hearing it, so now I'm gonna squash it. So many people are talking about the 4090 eating 500, 600 plus watts, uh, especially in 4K for total power usage or GPU power usage, and that is completely not true. And I'm actually gonna prove it. And how I'm going to prove it is I've actually got the customer's Galaxy Galax 4090 Hall of Fame Overclock Labs Edition. You're not going to pull, there's no there's no GPU out there, no 49 out there that pulls more power than this GPU. It's got the two 12-pin connectors. You can't even run the card with only one plugged in. And I've actually got the the customer's PSU here, which is a Thermotake 1650-watt uh, one, 1, uh, PSU. And that's the only thing that has power in this GPU, so it's going to get all the power that it can possibly want, and then some. Um, and yes, I do have my AC on, as you can see. It's set on 60 degrees, and I have the fan set on F fan, fan 3, fan power 3, which there you go, as you see it. So I'm actually hitting this thing with um, extreme cooling, more or less. Um, it's about as good as you can get outside of dry ice and ln2 unfortunately i can't get the car to as cold now as i could if i did it in winter time because well winter time the air conditioner gets a massive boost from the cold but um people can't seem to grasp that both the 3000 series and the 4000 series they are voltage limited which means the cards are held back in order to take and for the, the this card in any 3090 or uh any 4090 to take off which which uh only certain 4090s have it which this is one of them and my strict 4090 is another one you have the voltage you have to vo uh, do a volt mod to them so you can raise the voltage so the card will actually take off and you also need the 1000 watt xoc bios for it to take off but without further ado what i'm going to take and do is i'm going to take and i'm going to run two benchmarks back to back one of them is going to be they're both going to be superposition one's going to be the 4k and the other one's going to be 1440p. So what I'm going to do right off the bat is right here in in Precision X, I'm going to max the power out at 100. Then I'm going to max the voltage out at 100. So power-wise, I can't push this card any harder than what's being pushed right now. Then I'm going to overclock it by 300 on the on the uh, core, and then on the VRAM, I'm going to do that as well by 300 and apply it. So there's both of those right there. Now I'm going to come over here to Benchmate, open up Benchmate, and I'm going to come here to GPU-Z, open up GPU-Z. I don't even need Benchmate opened up anymore. Come over here to the sensors, which you're actually going to see me do it. I said I don't hide nothing. I'm going to come down here to GPU chip power draw right here and set it to show highest reading. So it's going to hold the highest reading that it gets every time around. And now I'm going to open up Superposition. There's ain't nothing more demanding than a 4K benchmark. And you're going to see me set it up raw, uncut, no editing, no nothing. 4K optimized right there. There's the settings that the GPU is set at. 300 on the clock for vCore, or for VRAM, 300 on the clock, 100% 100 power, and 100% voltage with the where is it with the with the gpu power draw chip power draw set to hold it on max which i will even show it to you that it's clipped to set on highest reading which it is with that being said let's run the benchmark and while this is running i'm going to enjoy my vape And I will tell you right now with how I have it set up, this 4090, this Galaxy 4090 Hall of Fame isn't even stressing it. It's literally laughing at it. It's not humming at all. Get you right on top of it so you can actually hear it. Well, if you can hear it over the AC, it's not humming at all. It's literally laughing at it. Raw, uncut, no editing. 
on scene 4 of 17 right now and as soon as this benchmark is over I'm going to show you the total power draw for the GPU I'm going to leave all the settings the same Just gonna, I'm going to reset uh, GPU-Z and I'm going to go right back to super position and do a 1440p benchmark right after that which is going to use even less power because it's not as intensive as 4K I'm just, I'm just, me personally, I'm just kind of over here. People say, 4K, I'm pulling over 500 watts, pulling over 600 watts. No, you're not. You're not pulling, there's no 4090 out there that's pulling more power than the Galaxy 49 Hall of Fame Labs Overclock Edition. Or Overclock Labs Edition, my apology. Scene 10 of 17 right now. And I'll show it to you again. GPU's just, the the Galaxy is just laughing at it. Not humming at all. Get right on top of it for you. The microphone's literally right on top of the GPU. No humming at all. Again, raw, uncut, zero editing. And when this benchmark is done and over with, I'm going to show you the, the max power draw on the GPU. I'm not going to give it no brick or nothing at all. I'm going to reset GPU-Z and jump right into a 1440p benchmark. And this is 4K. Nothing is going to, nothing is going to demand more power than 4K. And we're on scene 15 out of 17 right now. And yes, I can, I can volt mod this card, however, I do not own the card, the customer owns the card, and the only way I can volt mod it is if the customer wants me to, and then the customer's got to send me to volt mod to do the work. <clears throat> and there you go, right there. 4K done over with as you see all the settings nothing was changed at all and there's your max chip power draw uh, where, is it, where, is it, where is it right there 421 watts not even close to 500 not close to 600 none of that nonsense so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here reset this as you can see for chip power draw it's still showing for the max I'm not going to change none of these settings at all now I'm going to take and I'm going to go back and jump to custom and then I'm gonna go down here to uh, I actually forgot how to do this there we go um, huh I let it there we go I'm gonna go down here to 1440 P at 16 by 9 which is right there there we go but I even got the shaders quality 4k optimized so I'm still pushing more on that 1440p you see everything right there again there's your GPU power draw I reset it no settings changed on that end either there you go as you've seen I haven't touched the AC I haven't touched nothing whatsoever that being said let's run it That noise that you hear, ladies and gents, if you hear it, it's me vaping. And no, I'm not pushing this 4090 as hard as I could push it if I was doing this in the winter time because if I do this in winter time my AC gets a massive boost in cooling power right now it's on scene 6 of 17 
And for anybody who's wondering, no, I'm not going to do a 1080 benchmark. That's a complete waste of my time. I'm doing 1440 and 4K. That's it. You want you want to play around with 1080? You play around with it. With, with this hardware, I'm not playing around at 1080. Right now we're on scene 13 of 17. This is the second to last scene of the benchmark, scene 16 of 17. Here's the last scene of the benchmark. After this scene, that's it, all done. Show you the total power draw for 1440p, and that'll wrap up this video. All right, there you go. There's the score for those of you who wanna know. And no, I'm not pushing anything to the max at all. This 4090 can go a lot farther. There you go. And your max power draw for the GPU is 385. So, you already know, even if I were to waste the time and go to 1080, that's going to drop down even more, which means that score is going to jump up even more. So, those of you who are saying that the 4090 pulls 500, 600 watts um, of power, I got my AC in a mix, which allows me to push the GPU even harder, which ain't nobody running these temperatures uh, on a daily basis. And I just proved to you the most powerful GPU that you can buy on the market no voltage mod the only thing that's been done to it is if the die has been lapped and it's got liquid metal on it and it's water cooled with my ac in the mix to allow me to push it even harder and pull more power out of it on uh 1650 watt bios there you go so those of you who say that the 4090 pulls 500 600 plus watts at 4k sorry you're full of shit with that being said, hopefully everybody's having a good day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at. I'm out. Later.